got a question. Is real estate photography hard? And in my opinion, no, real estate photography is not hard. Now we're talking real estate photography. We're not talking architectural photography. That's a totally different ballgame. We're talking real estate photography, photography that realtors are using for the MLS. They're putting it on Zillow. They're putting it on realtor.com. They're using it for property websites. Yes, they're making flyers from them from those photos. Some of them do post them in certain magazines and advertise them there. But really, real estate photography is much different than architectural photography. And it is a very simple thing to learn. Um, and I could teach you that in just one day. It's really about the composition. And what's really important about real estate photography is photographing a home with the buyer in mind. You see, you want to photograph it with the buyer in mind because they are the ones that are shopping for the home. So that's the market. You're doing what the market wants, not what you want the photographer, not what the realtor wants, and even not what the seller wants, even though the realtor is going to say, well, the seller is my client. But really, it's about the buyer. The buyer is the one that is looking for the home that works for them. So you need to photograph the home so you can show how rooms flow from one to another. That's what buyers want to see. They want to see how the kitchen flows into the next room. They want to know where the master bedroom leads to down the hallway. They want to know if, is there a bathroom that is close to one of the bedrooms? And most of the time you can see that from one of the corners of one of the bedrooms. So you're really photographing it to paint that picture to help that buyer understand if this home is going to be worth it to go see or not. Because you know, in this day and age, especially since COVID, everybody wants to look at everything online first and they want to see if the flow of that home fits their needs, the buyer needs. They want to see if, Hey, is this going to work for my family? Is, you know, is the main bedroom on the main floor? Is it up on the second floor next to the other bedrooms? That might not work for us. So when I say is, is real estate photography hard? No, it's not. You have to understand your audience. And in real estate photography, it's knowing what the buyer is looking for. So I just wanted to share that with you. I do teach other photographers how to do real estate photography. I have photographed over 4,500 properties. I am a former realtor. So I, I'm bringing some of my own experience of what buyers are looking for and how simple that real estate photography is. So I appreciate the question. Thank you so much. If you have any more questions, please let me know. I would love to help you. Have yourself an awesome day. Talk to you soon.